So I am a little late to the party on this one. I didn't realize I knew this was coming out, but I didn't realize it came out until the day it came out. So I quickly went to Amazon and ordered it while it was still available. I think it might still be available now. So, you know, we're going to open this up. This is, hopefully I got the right box here. Uh, this should be the Mario Game & Watch. I think it'd be kind of funny if I opened the wrong box. This is like my wife's stuff. I opened it by accident. Oh, it's the right thing. Ooh. Free the box would be bigger. So yeah, so this is the uh, Mario Anniversary Edition, I believe. Uh, Game & Watch. And it's made to look like a Game & Watch, which... I actually did not have any Game & Watches when I was a kid. I had Tiger Electronics stuff. No Nintendo brand anything. But I figured we'd take a look at this. So this here is the box. It's got a hang tab on it. I was not expecting a hang tab. Anyway, so sorry for the lights. So uh, color screen. Super Mario Brothers. I believe this is Mario 1 and Lost Levels or Japanese Mario 2. Like the artwork on there with the Goomba and the level and all that stuff. And there's, you know, Bowser on the back. And I guess it's shown here the different modes. We have Super Mario, Lost Levels, Ball, which is another popular Game & Watch game. And the time, because all of these, hence the watch part, <laughs> were clocks and alarm clocks. So, I like how they have all the stuff on They have... Oh, there we go. Oh, come on, focus. We have the uh, turtle paratrooper there. We have lock two. That's it, I guess. The number on here, SM35. I'm guessing that probably goes along with other Game & Watch series stuff. So let's see, how do I get this out of here without damaging anything? It looks like it's meant to slide out of this plastic. It looks like it's taped over here. Oh, it's taped on both sides. All right, so let's see if we can very carefully cut this tape. I don't want to cut the box or anything because this box is really nice. And I do like to try to keep boxes when I can. All right, that's one side. See if I can get the other. Yeah, this is like surgery over here trying to do this without ruining anything. Oh, I nicked it right there. That's okay. It's not terrible. All right, let's see if we can slide it. There we go. Okay, so it slides out. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so when the slip cover is on, it's Mario. And when the slip cover is off, it's ball. That's really neat. What about the back? Is the back doing anything? No, it just moves. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, God. look at, look at, that's awesome. So, look, you have Toad and Princess hidden when the slip cover is on. And when it moves off, you can see them like you just beat the level. That's, that's really cool. All right, we're going to put that right back there because that's really neat looking. All right, let's open this up. So, I think. Is there any more seals on here? No, I think this is it. It's meant to open on this side. Let's see if I can open it without damaging anything. Okay. There's the ball guy on that side too. Special thanks to you. Oh, it's actually Mario as the ball guy. Not Mr. Game & Watch. It's a USB to USB Type-C cable. I'm assuming that's for charging it. And that's it. There's that box there. We'll put that right there. And how do you want to come out? Oh, I guess we're really. This is. I mean, Nintendo always packages everything really well, but there we go. This is the main event right there. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's little. This is a lot smaller. I, I feel it'd be a little bigger than this, but the screen's pretty. It's bigger than, say, a yeah, Game Boy Advance Micro, screen-wise. Well, the whole unit is, but so that feels just like an NES D-pad. And these these buttons are rubbery. They're not 
I figured it'd be harder buttons, but I guess that's what they must have had. Again, I never had a Game & Watch as a kid. Any of them. And I still don't now. <laughs> so it looks like on this side we have USB-C. I'm actually surprised at that too. And barcode, a serial number. Nothing on top or bottom, and I'm guessing that's the speaker. This is really nice. All right, so this looks like it's power. Oh, there we go, okay. So press the time button. Oh, okay, so. Oh, that's neat, okay, so when you press time, it's one is making a ticking sound, if you can hear that. And it looks like it's little, on the right there, a little seconds thing going up and down the screen, or around the screen. If I press time again, yeah, you, it, let's see what else. Yeah, it changes the uh, level. That's kind of cool. All right, so, it's men so pause and set, it's menu. Battery indicator up top. What half battery? It's average for something you just bought. And game. All right, so again, looking at this, we have choices. Mario, Super Mario 2, and ball. And I'm noticing, too, there is no indication of it being called lost levels in here, at least not yet. That ticking is becoming very annoying. <laughs> so, all right, we'll hit A, and now we can, I guess, play Mario. It sounds good. Plays pretty good. I've been playing a bunch of Super Mario 35 lately, so kind of feel like that a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. Alright, so that's that. Yeah, I gotta say, it plays pretty good. Alright, so let's see. If we hit game again, oh, it just brings us right here. If I hit this again, will it reset? No, it doesn't. So we hit this again. Two. Alright, so it goes right to Mario 2. And this is Mario or Luigi game. I've never been good at this game. I know it's very difficult, I get that. Oh, poison mushroom. You know, I gotta say, it's always weird though, is I know the levels, like the ground is more textured, but it always just, I don't know. I just think it looks, it's just, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just not used to it. Again, sorry for the glare. Alright, so we hit game again. And I wonder, will it go back to where I was in Mario Brothers? It does. It paused the game. That's interesting. So it takes it where you left off. So if I go down to ball. Now, I never played ball. <laughs> never played it. Okay, and... So it's definitely replicating the old school... LED screens. So I don't know why. So just supposed to catch them? That's it. That's it. Okay, I guess that's all you do. Neat. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, again, this is an LCD game. There's not a whole lot to it, but it's cool. And I go back to the time have to set that later um but yeah this i like it it's neat i mean it's something you i guess could carry around with you i i, I would just worry about you know scratching anything it doesn't come with it's not in any kind of case or anything i know some game watches are in those kind of like ds type cases well, that's kind of cool to that the three drop to a four um but beyond that's nice it's a nice little thing i mean they're 50 bucks um i'll put a link below uh to amazon for it uh, in case anybody wants to get one of these. Um, I would say that if you're, you know, to get, if you're just going to get it to play, you could definitely could. I don't like the rubber buttons. I, I know that's 
akin to how these were, but I think the plastic buttons would have been a little a little better. That's really my only complaint. But the sound's good, the video is good, the screen's beautiful on it. It looks really nice. But I mean if you're a Mario collector and you like pretty much buying all the Mario stuff, this is definitely a must-have. Um, if you wanted just to play it, you could definitely do that, but I don't know if it would be as much of a must-have because you know there's a bazillion ways to play Mario. You know, in better ways. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's what this is. The, again, this is the Super Mario Bros. Game and Watch. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. You see that? Oh, he blew up before that time. That was cool.